Hey there, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about two more operators, the plus plus and minus minus. These are the increment and decrement operators. So typically in programming languages, let's say we have int x equals 10. If you wanted to modify x, you would use a plus equal or multiply equal, depending on what you're trying to do. But let's say we're trying to increment this by one, we would just do x plus equal one. And then let's run it and we would get 11. We can also change it so we can say plus equal five and this will modify x and increase it by five. We can also multiply it. So times equal five, we get 50. Divide equal five and we get two. And finally, let's just include minus so we complete the set. In C++, we have two more operators and that is the increment and decrement operator. Now, if you're coming from Java, you already know these. And if you're coming from Python, uh, these are probably new to you. So basically when you do plus plus, you are incrementing by one. So let's run it and you see 11. You can also place it in front. So plus plus X and the same also applies. If you do decrement, as you can guess, this is subtracting by one. And then you can also place it in front. Okay, so what is the difference between placing it in front and placing it behind? Let's see. So let me copy and paste this. And over here, I'm going to say before. And then over here, I'm going to say after. So now I'm going to place plus plus behind and let's see what happens. So let's clear that. Run it again. And you can see we get 10 and 11. Now if I place in front, let's see what happens. And we get 11, 11. So before we add 10, 11, so let me just print that again. So with the post increment, we had 10, 11. And with a pre increment, we had 11, 11. So there's a clear difference. And that is if you place it in front like this, you are basically saying increment X first and then print it. This line, it doesn't matter because X has already been modified. Whereas if you do this, you're saying print first and then increment. So that's why this is post increment and the other one is pre increment because it's when you do it. It's there's an order of operations, just like with math. If I did minus minus, what would be the output? So this is saying print first and then decrement. So we're going to get 10 and then nine. So let's run it. And then if I do pre decrement, we're saying decrement first and then print it. So let's run that and we get nine, nine. Okay. So that's increment and decrement. So let me get rid of this. So since it's an operator, if I were to do this, would it work? I'm basically saying increment and then increment again. So will this give me two? Let's figure it out. Nope. We get an error and it says L value require as increment operand. Okay. What happens if I do plus, 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 plus X? Will I also get an error or will this give me 12? Let's find out. And I actually got 12. So what's the difference between, you know, increment and decrement? Well, it's the way they're implemented. So with pre-increment, you are basically modifying the value first and then returning it. Whereas if you do post increment, you have to somehow save the value, return a copy and then modify X. So with pre increment or decrement, you can just go ahead and modify and return. Whereas post increment or decrement, you have to make a copy of X, update X and return the copy. So that's why it won't modify X because what we're returning is a copy. So before over here, when we pre-increment, we're just directly modifying X. We're saying 10, change it to 11. Whereas over here, we're returning a copy of 10 behind the screen. We are incrementing the original X. So that's why you cannot chain it from the back, but you can chain it from the front. And the same applies if I were to do this. So let's clear this. And you'll see eight, but I cannot do the same from behind. I can also add some more. So one, two, three, four. Okay. I might be missing one. Let's just do this and we get six. So this is decrementing by four. 
but you know this is hard to read so you should just do this so it's a trivial matter whether you can chain it from the front or back because we have this minus equal and plus equal and if you know you're still confused on why you can only chain it from the front in a later video i'm going to actually implement the increment and decrement operators and show you the difference between pre and post increment and decrement. So for now, if you, it's still confusing, don't worry too much about it. Just remember that you cannot chain from the back and there's actually no point in doing so because it's really hard to read. Like if you were to do this versus if you were to do plus equal 10, right? It's just cleaner to do this way. So it's not much of a difference. So just know that again, there is a difference in order of operations and uh, yeah, that's increment and decrement and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.